I'm at a loss for words. But what an unbelievable upset we witnessed at the Chase Center. The Phoenix Suns just beat the defending NBA champion Golden State Warriors at full health. The Warriors were at full health. But an injury real Phoenix Suns team, I repeat, an injury-fiddled Phoenix Suns team defeated a fully healthy Golden State Warriors team by a final score of 125 to 113 tonight at Chase Center in San Francisco. A couple of things, man, to go through, but oh my goodness. Damian Lee, not only did he get his ring, but man, did he come ready to play tonight, dropping 22 points off the bench. I mean, he had... He only had two threes, was three of eight from the floor, but shot 12 free throws. Unbelievable. It was perfect. 12 of 12. Speaking of the Suns, they shot 31 free throws today. 29 of them went in. They're one of the best when it comes to making their free throws, but they're one of the la but they're 28th in the league when it comes to attempts. A phenomenal, phenomenal performance tonight by getting to the free throw line. Something that I've been hampering them to do all season, and it finally came to fruition today. Mikel Bridges had a game with 26 points on 10 of, 10 of 18 shooting, and it seems like his shot's slowly starting to come back. Man, what a game for Mikel Bridges as he was the lone starter um, that was healthy for tonight's game, and he played like the veteran he is tonight and helped lead the Young Bucks to a win. Dwayne Washington is continuing his stellar play, 5-9 from 3, 21 points. Efficient shooting throughout was just phenomenal. Um, I can't say enough about the job this Suns team did. They shot 45% from three, 45% from the floor, 29 of 31 from free throws. They out they outscored the Warriors in the paint as well, 48 to 34. They out rebounded um, the Warriors in, um, by a mar by a large margin tonight. It was a great great performance. Klay Thompson had a good game with 29. Jordan Poole had a good game with with four threes and 27 points. Steph struggled with the inefficient kind of game, but he's just coming back. He scored um, 24 points in his own right. But man, oh man, this is a big confidence booster. What a win for Monty Williams. What a win for Phoenix. A team that's struggling, lost. they've lost 15 in the last 19. They just lost six in a row. This was an unbelievable um, turn of events for them that, that they really needed um, to go from here on out. Now they got to just continue to boost this all the way up for their next game because this is a phenomenal, phenomenal point of view from like how a Phoenix Suns team like this can, can, can just continue to hone in on on what it's like to to play. If they can shoot like this, like they're capable of, can play defense like this for the majority of the game, it kind of got a little sloppy at the end. But, man, I can't tell you enough. They desperately need a win. And they played like it. They had no Devin Booker, no Chris Paul, no Landry Shamit, no Cameron Payne, no Cameron Johnson, no DeAndre Ayton. And they just found a way to get it done. This is a well-coached effort. This is this was a pride win. Um, and I couldn't say enough good things about Phoenix tonight. Um, now all that's left is for them to get healthy. Um, they still got a lot of work to do uh, uh, as as is. But the Suns ain't dead yet, as they proved tonight. But until then, reporting from Phoenix, Arizona in a crazy, crazy night of basketball, I'm Franklin Miller from Burn City Sports.